Hungry for something different? Meet Nigerian visual artist Hanifa Adam, who turns ordinary food products into colorful and edible masterpieces. Finely blended baobab leaves, also known as kuka, are used to make soups in northern Nigeria. But Hanifa Adam is using them to make something different today. She's making a portrait of what she says epitomizes the rich cultural identity of the Nigerian woman, complete with elaborate headgear and jewelry. So now I'm going to create a portrait with the Bantu knot hairstyle because I really love the texture and the feel of the hair and it also celebrates the African culture and heritage. This self-taught visual artist experiments with different kinds of food ingredients to make her portraits, which celebrate African culture and heritage. I'm inspired by my personal experiences and observations of the society at large. It's usually introspective, and whenever I have a story to tell from either my own personal experience or other personal experiences and the stories are beautiful to tell or important to tell, I get inspired by that. The master's degree holder in pharmacology and drug discovery first came to limelight when she created a hijab-wearing doll to encourage change in the way young Muslim girls see themselves. She started experimenting with art, using spices, leftover meals, and even grains three years ago. Usually I get the concept from the material I'm about to use. For food, I can do like a larger scale of work, which can be performance art. I use grains in a way where I can tell a story. Miss Adam exhibits her work on her Instagram handle, where she has 30,000 followers. The artist says working with food items can be tricky, especially when she has to work with perishable items. So these are the kind of materials I use to create my artwork. So I'm here to get um, millet and some other grains that I'm going to be using to create portraits. She sells her food portraits, but mostly works with food brands to provide visual content for food adverts. She understands that some people may be critical of her art, seeing it as food wastage. But she says she works in a very clean environment and packs up all her grains and spices for home use once she's done taking pictures. And sometimes she finds her work irresistible to put in the mouth. So now that I've created an artwork on the rice with the sauce, I'm going to dig in now. It's edible art. Such masterpieces there.